a couple of uh, 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 loops tutorials and now we're going to see how we can use DOM loops uh, to see how we can count uh, a number of times uh, we execute a loop. All right, let's write this code. I'll write the first variable as a counter and the initialize to zero. Let's write the for loop. We say for x. In this list, so we're saying get this list. So say 47, 5, 5, 2, 6, 10. Okay, so I have a list here. I have a list of these uh, numbers here. Uh, six numbers there. Okay, now create our, I uh, will initialize here, we'll call our counter variable. It's a counter is equal to counter add one. Now, because we are saying here, uh, I'm telling the computer that this counter should have the initial value of one. The counter will not start from zero. Yeah, remember that uh, index starts from zero, but this counter will not start from zero, it will start from number one. So this counter will come here and say one. We'll come here the number of loops the, the number of times this loops execute so is one two three four five six times and this counter will print uh, each time this loops execute to one two three four five six okay we'll see that in a minute so let's print this counter first and see uh, in action there so counter so let's print this counter we're printing how many times this loop execute so the loops remember i said execute five uh, six times one two three four five six let's run or oh, let's save this okay uh let's save this first and we'll call this uh let's call it counter underscore one or we'll just call it uh however i like it okay now let's run this code okay so you see the, the loops execute um uh, six times one two three four five six this is what the counter is doing so this counter here first times it comes here uh, when the loops execute uh, it comes and print number one there second times comes in grab uh, uh, this uh, index here and the print number two third times three four five and six yeah so basically we've just printed how many times this loops execute how many times this loops execute yeah let me put a comment here just to uh, illustrate how many times uh, the loop executes yeah so how many times this loops execute so this variable uh, it does the work for us you know we don't need to count uh, one two three four five so we'll just write a piece of code in python and ask python to do the work for us and that this is the result now let's print uh, our list there of items yeah of numbers and then we just say list there and when we run this code see there's the result so it's telling us that 47 is on um is on count one 45 is on count two uh, five is on count three two is on count four and so on and so on till the last number uh, six uh, ten is on this is on counting number six yeah right so let's go here and uh, just to finish this program we say uh, Okay, this uh, list uh, executes. Yeah, and then we say include the list there. No, the counter there. So we're saying that this list execute. This is gonna be six times. Okay, so this list execute six. Yeah, I can. And here, so this is a, a 
how we can demonstrate how uh, we can count in a loop by how many times the uh, we execute our code or we execute uh, the loop yeah so remember that uh, first time here it's add obviously it's add, it starts from zero there but every time since we have said that start at zero so it's gonna start at index it's, it's, it's gonna start at index zero zero but it's gonna add one here it's gonna add one in this one but the loop itself here start at uh, uh, the 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 counter start at zero at first, but then because we've said it should initialize to uh, one, then that's what happens there. It's going to add one, 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 two, three, four, five, six to the end. Thank you.